Hey, so what's going on guys, and today I've got a really great video for you showing you all the new weapons in Black Ops 2's Vengeance zombie map, Buried. Now firstly I must state these are what we believe are all the new weapons because we didn't see anyone else get any other weapon other than these ones. These were the only ones that we found which were new in Buried, and when I say new, I mean completely new to zombies, not ones which have been added onto the wall such as the LSAT or the AK-74U. These are completely new in the zombies game. So let's start off with the new wonder weapon, shall we? This is called the Paralyzer. The Paralyzer actually has unlimited ammo. All you've got to do is make sure that you don't overheat it and you'll be fine to use it. And as you can see, it does actually kill them if you hit them with it long enough. The Paralyzer is also used for one of these steps of Eastwake, which I may cover in a video tomorrow once the map is officially released. I'm pretty sure it isn't the actual first step of the easter egg, however I'm certain it is a step in part of the easter egg later on possibly. The second new weapon is the Remington New Model Army, and as you can see in the gameplay it is an incredibly powerful pistol, however we didn't manage to test how many rounds it's a one hit kill at. However, most likely it's very similar to the Python, which we're not sure if it's still in the zombie map, maybe this is replacing it, but I see these two pistols being very similar, but as you can see in the gameplay, it is a one-hit kill on the current round that I was on, and we're not quite sure how many rounds, it may be more powerful than Python, and it may go higher rounds as a one-hit kill, but who knows. Now this next one is probably one of my favourite ones, and was really awesome when I saw it pop out of the box. This one is called the Time Bomb and is actually used for the achievement Revisionist Historian, which is in Buried Rewrite History. Now basically, this device is really awesome. What it does is literally what it says on the tin. It lets you go back in time. So basically, what you do is throw down the device anywhere on the map where you want to be able to go back to. So maybe you just got a wonder weapon out of the box or something like that, you're quite in a safe area and you want to go back to it. Now what you do is you keep playing, you can carry on playing, shooting, killing zombies, stuff like that. And then if you get in a sticky situation, maybe you've cornered yourself, maybe you bought the wrong perk, or maybe you just want to re-roll the box. If you haven't got enough points, you can then go back in time and re-roll it and hope to get a different gun. Basically, it lets you go back to the point where you threw down the device. So it's really useful if you make a mistake and you want to go back, getting yourself out of sticky situations. And as I said, this is what the achievement is. The achievement that was listed as rewrite history is not part of the Easter egg. Now there are a couple of things we don't know about this device. Is it going to be in multiplayer? Because obviously in single player, you've got complete control over yourself. But if it's in multiplayer, I see this causing way too many problems. People trolling, people getting the time thing, seeing you get, say, the ray gun mark 2 out of the box, and then going back in time so you lose it. So I'm assuming this is only going to be in single player, as, you know, there are douchebags who are going to mess up zombie games online if they get hold of this uh, equipment. Also, seeing as I just wanted to find out what this thing did straight away as quickly as I could, there are a couple of things we also don't know, such as how long it lasts. As you can see, there's a 4 in the bottom with like a ticking noise, so maybe we've got 4 minutes that it lasts and sit there on the floor, and you can, in those 4 minutes, decide when you want to go back. And also, we don't know if you can pick it back up after you've thrown it so you don't waste it. These are all things that will have to be discovered on Tuesday when it's finally available for everyone. But yeah, this is a really awesome new weapon in Black Ops 2's Buried and is going to be really useful. And what's even better is the fact that you don't lose it. As you can see, when I throw it, I then have zero. So when we get an ammo, I'll then probably get another one. Or maybe if it's time-based, I'm not quite sure because it doesn't count as like an equipment as one you throw. It counts as something on the D-pad. So maybe you get it after a certain number of rounds. I don't know. We didn't have enough time to try it. And lastly, we have the Raygun Mark II, which you all already know about. We've seen gameplay of it before as it was added into the latest patch which we are believing was by accident and was activated for everyone to use. But here's just some gameplay of it anyway, doesn't need much explaining. But anyway guys, these are all the brand new weapons in the Black Ops 2 Vengeance Zombie DLC map Buried. As I said at the beginning of the video, these are the ones we are assuming are all the new weapons, because we didn't see anyone else get anything but these ones. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to find the Pack-A-Punch machine either, so they, these are just regular gun gameplays, and it'll be interesting to see what happens to all these weapons once they're Pack-A-Punched. So which one of these looks the best to you? Just leave a comment down below saying which one you like the look of. Maybe it's the Paralyzer, or maybe it's the Time Bomb or the new pistol. Personally, I love the look of the Paralyzer, but the Time Bomb is definitely the most useful new piece of equipment. 
I'm also going to have some highlight videos of the multiplayer maps on Rush and Detour. I did manage to get gameplay on the other ones. Those will be up at some point later on today as well. I have a bunch of zombie videos for you guys early on tomorrow morning so you can get some more details about the map when it's released or when you're downloading it so you can watch those as well. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Black Ops 2 Vengeance videos then you can subscribe. However guys, that's it for now, but I'll see you all next time.